Painting and drawing is an expression of who I am, who I was made to be. I'm increasingly aware that my life is described in the work that I do. I love what I love because of where I've been, uh, what I've been shown, and the events that have molded me. I am my father's son with my mother's sense of humour. A child born in the 1960s, influenced by music and politics of the 70s, trained as an architect in the 80s. London, punk, design, rebellion, but always an understanding and a respect for the rules. I think that's all in my work somewhere. I don't particularly like watercolour per se, it's just that that's what I have. That's what Sherry gave me when I started painting 20 years ago. It's right for my temperament and it's a medium that works well with line and line has always been a big part of my language. I'm fascinated by the collision between design and life. My paintings tend to address the results of years of use. Walls plastered with posters, broken signs, doorways dirtied by a thousand sticky hands, tools used and dented. And for me, painting is like that too. I design my work compose, plan, and then life happens. Gravity, humidity, and my own limited skills. And somehow something unexpected appears on the paper. I'm constantly navigating between control and the excitement of seeing what my brush leaves behind. I know where my hand is going, but I always feel that there's something on the page that is not of me.